Hello and welcome to the video lecture on functions of graphic software. At the end of this session, students will be able to apply CAD fundamentals as well as advanced manufacturing technology to industry problems. The following topics will be discussed in this particular video lecture. Recap of first session which was about input and output devices and the second topic about the your functions of graphic software. Input devices. So what are input devices? So whenever we work with a computer we need to enter data and instructions to the computer using some devices. These devices are called input devices. These devices convert data and instructions to a form that can be recognized by the computer. So we will be discussing some of the input devices. First one keyboard. Keyboard it's the most commonly used input device. It allows data entry into a computer system by pressing a set of keys neatly mounted on a keyboard. It contains some extra command keys and function keys that affect the operation of computer or keyboard itself. There are different types of keyboard, standard keyboard, multimedia keyboard, wireless keyboard. So it's basically used in graphics to provide screen coordinates, menu selection, gaming controls and for entering many graphic function. The second input device is mouse. The basic principle on which a mouse works is that you have a ball and under the ball we have x y transducers which are fixed. So these are basically let's say x and y variable resistors. As a result of this if you move the mouse in the x direction the resistance of the x variable resistor will change. If you move it in the y direction the resistance of the y variable resistor will change and the resistance is then taken as a measure of the position of the mouse. Now let us discuss the third input device that is the tracker ball. The tracker ball is there almost next to the keyboard and you can change the orientation of the ball and that changes the position of the cursor on the screen. Joystick. I move the stick in either direction. The resistors fixed at the bottom, the resistance changes and their position can be seen on the screen. Light pen. In a light pen, you have a light sensitive diode which is used to point onto the screen. From this pen we can pick items from the menu. We can directly point your item on the menu and click that. Normally if you have a mouse you are moving the mouse on the pad or on a board. In this you don't have to do that. In this you just take the pen and point it onto the screen and click it there. This basically works on a principle of sensing the light signal over there and current position of the screen is then sent back to the computer or to the CPU. The way it works is let's say we'll be talking about raster graphic devices. In raster graphic devices there is an electron gun that starts from one corner and spans the full screen like this at a rate of about 40 times a second or 50 times a second. It will be spanning the full screen. 
that means the gun starts from one corner and goes to the right come back to the left corner again and goes to the right and so on so the moment the light pen senses the light over here it knows how much time lag is there between starting point and this point and that time lag is used to compute the total distance traveled and hence the position of the light pen at that point this is how the position of the light pen is sensed and fed back to the machine so this is the basic principle of a light pen output devices these are the devices which show output to the user example printer today we'll be discussing about the plotter as the output devices a plotter is a printer designed for printing vector graphics instead of printing individual dots on the paper plotter draws continuous lines this makes plotter ideal for printing architectural blueprints engineering designs and other cad drawings so we'll be discussing about the flat bread plotter and drum plotter in a flat bread plotter we have a table on which sheet of paper is fixed now on this sheet of paper we will have a set of pens you can see the pens are mounted on the corner the pens can move in the x and y direction so the pens will be mounted on a carriage and they can move in the x and y direction and the paper is fixed so if you want to make a drawing of a a4 size we will take a paper of a4 size fix it on this plotter and the pens will move in the x and y directions for moving the pens in the x direction we have a x drive motor and for moving the pens in the y direction we will have a y drive motor and as the pen is moving we need a mechanism to either lower the pen for drawing it or to raise it so that no line is drawn during the motion so we have a pen raise and lower mechanism so in this case essentially a paper is fixed onto the table and that pen can move in x and y direction drum plotter in the case of a drum plotter we have a drum on this drum the paper is fixed the paper can hang on both the sides and the paper is fixed on this the drum can rotate by the rotation of drum we get motion in the y direction and the pens can move in the x direction so the x direction motion is given by let's say an x drive motor and the y direction motion is given by drum motor and of course we have mechanism to raise and lower the pen the basic advantage of this is it takes less space and the total moment of the pen is much less and typically these plotters are faster the disadvantage is costing is high cost of maintenance is also high now let's discuss about functions of graphic software graphic software permits the interaction between the user and the systems while doing this graphic software is expected to perform various kinds of functions so these functions it may include the generation of graphic elements with desired shape and size orientation and finally displaying on the screen so this different kind of function can be combined in the following five functional groups generation of graphic elements which may be 2d and 3d graphical entity is sketching elements like dots line circle arc triangle etc graphical entities are called 2d drawings it also consists of different tools like trim mirror rotation scale which will edit different graphical elements 3d the primitive word mainly used for three dimensional elements like sphere cube prism pyramid cylinder etc second point that is transformation transformation mainly consists of editing or changing the given geometrical element or drawing or image which is displayed on the screen transformation are mainly used for geometrical element so that to construct or develop application model this transformation 
mainly consists of the scaling which is nothing but enlargement or reduction of element translation reposition of image rotation providing angle to image the third point that is display control and windowing functions this function provides the user with the ability to view the image from the desired angle and at the desired magnification activities may include rotation of screen or view moving zoom in and zoom out use of hidden lines will provide user and system to achieve extra better understanding of image but if with the help of hidden lines drawing is getting complex then we should remove the hidden lines segmenting functions with the help of transformation tools we can edit or change the geometrical entity this function will provide options for replace delete modify portions of image at last it will give provision to store image in computer memory raster scan technique is used user input functions user friendly software so as to function as geometrical entity now pause this video for a few seconds and try to write answer to the following question straight true or false primitives are three dimensional elements probably you have wrote answer to the following question these are the following references thank you